Well, it's a bitter battle in Maryland over the separation of church and state. One atheist group calling the cross atop this World War I memorial, quote, unconstitutional, and they want it taken down. But protesters are rallying in support of the memorial, saying the group has it all wrong. Is this a constitutional issue, or is the group just taking this too far? Joining us now is Commander of Greenbelt, Maryland's American Legion, Post 136, Michael Moore. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You say this cross isn't necessarily about religion. It is about honoring those who lost their lives in World War I. How so? Well, uh, quite frankly, the, uh, the cross is, uh, is uh, a 40-foot-tall concrete cross. Uh, when I inspected it, we, uh, last week we had a, uh, a demonstration over there. Over 150 people, local citizens and legionnaires were there. I went over to look at the cross, and on the cross are the names of 49 uh, people from Prince George's County who died in World War I. Also, there's a quote from President Woodrow Wilson, uh, the president during World War I, uh, that has no reference to religion. It's got four words on it. Uh, around the base of the cross and it had that has no reference to religion and it has the American Legion emblem up at the uh, nexus of the cross so I when I went over to uh, to inspect it I found no reference to religion at all uh, yeah, the, I just want to fill in those four words valor endurance courage and devotion mm -hmm. And, exactly. And, and Michael, you know, we've seen this same battle in other small towns just like Greenbelt, Maryland, across the country. And what ends up happening often is that the town acquiesces to the wishes of the atheists because they simply don't have the money to be engaged in a lawsuit. Is that what's going to happen in Greenbelt, Maryland? Uh, we hope not. Uh, actually, the, uh, the cross is on land owned by the National Capital Park and Planning Commission, which is a public agency. I believe that the American uh, Humanist Association, uh, and here in Washington we like to have acronyms, so they, that their acronym would be AHA, I guess. Uh, they, they had an aha moment. They drove by and uh, they said, oh, look, there, there's a cross on, on public land. Therefore, it's a violation of the, uh, the uh, Establishment Clause of the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to actually file suit, or they claim to file suit uh, with the county of Prince George's, I think, and their lawyers are looking at it. Okay. All right, Michael Moore uh, from American Legion, Greenbelt, Maryland Post 136. Keep us up to date. Let us know how this battle continues, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me.